A holiday in Delhi class 6 lesson 5 English 1 Parliament House the Parliament House he asked Sansad Bhavan in New Delhi is the seat of the Parliament of India at a distance of 750 meters from the Rashtrapati Bhavan it is located on Sansat Marg which crosses the central vista and is surrounded by the India Gate War Memorial Prime Minister's Office and Residence, Ministerial Buildings and other, Administrative Units of Indian Government. Its houses the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha which represent lower and upper houses respectively in India's bicameral parliament. To Rashtrapati Bhavan Rashtrapati Bhavan, home to the President of the world's largest democracy, epitomizes India's strength, its democratic traditions and secular character. Rashtrapati Bhavan was the creation of architects of exceptional imagination and masterfulness, Sir Edwin Lutines and Herbert Baker. It was Sir Lutines who conceptualized the H-shaped building, covering an area of five acres on a 330-acre estate. This mansion has a total of 340 rooms spread over four floors, 2.5 kilometers of corridors and 190 acres of garden area. Painstaking efforts of thousands of laborers including masons, carpenters, artists, carvers, and cutters saw the completion of this masterwork in the year 1929. Originally built as the residence for the Viceroy of India, Viceroy's house as it was then called, has metamorphosed into today's Rashtrapati Bhavan. From being a symbol of imperial domination and power, it is today emblematic of Indian democracy and its secular plural and inclusive traditions. Former President of India, Sri R. Venkataraman has rightly said, nature and man, rock and architecture, have rarely collaborated to so fine a purpose as in the fashioning of the magnificent Rashtrapati Bhavan. 3. India Gate, India Gate, originally called the All India War Memorial, is a huge 42-meter high means located on Rajpath in New Delhi. It is the National Monument of Independent India formerly called King's Way, it was designed by Sir Edward Lutines. This monument is inspired by the Arc de Triomphe of Paris. It was built in 1931. Originally known as the All India War Memorial, this memorial was built by the British rulers in memory of the 90,000 Indian soldiers who were recruited in the British Army and were martyred in the First World War in Afghan wars. The names of 13,300 soldiers, including some soldiers and officers from the United Kingdom, are engraved on the gate. 1, 2, made of red and yellow sandstone, this monument is worth visiting. 4. Red Fort The Red Fort or Lal Kila, Hindustani, Lal Kila, is a historic fort in Old Delhi, Delhi in India that served as the main residence of the Mughal emperors. Emperor Shah Jahan commissioned construction of the Red Fort on the 12th of May 1638, when, he decided to shift his capital from Agra to Delhi. Originally red and white, its design is credited to architect Ustai Dharmadlagari, who also constructed the Taj Mahal. The fort represents the peak in Mughal architecture under Shah Jahan, and combines Pajanate Palace architecture with Indian traditions. 5. Lotus Temple The Lotus Temple, located in Delhi, India, is a Baha'i house of worship that was dedicated in December 1986. Notable for its flower-like shape, it has become a prominent attraction in the city. Like all other Baha'i houses of worship, the Lotus Temple is open to all, regardless of religion or any other qualification. The building is composed of 27 freestanding marble-clad petals arranged in clusters of three to form nine sides, with nine doors opening onto a central hall, with a height of slightly over 34 meters and a capacity of 1,300 people. The Lotus Temple has won numerous architectural awards and has been featured in many newspaper and magazine articles. 6. Tab Minar Tab Minar is a soaring. 73 meters high tower of victory, built in 1193 by Qutab ud immediately after the defeat of Delhi's last Hindu kingdom. The tower has five distinct stories, each marked by a projecting balcony and tapers from a 15 meters diameter at the base to just 2.5 meters at the top. The first three stories are made of red sandstone, the fourth and fifth stories are of marble and sandstone. At the foot of the tower is the Qutb al-Islam Mosque the first mosque to be built in India. 
an inscription over its eastern gate provocatively informs that it was built with material obtained from demolishing 27 Hindu temples. A 7 meters high iron pillar stands in the courtyard of the mosque. It is said that if you can encircle it with your hands while standing with your back to it your wish will be f